What's going on guys? Welcome back to Cheap Tool Reviews, the channel that reviews the cheapest tools from eBay, Amazon, AliExpress, Wish, you name it and we'll review it. So if there's any tool that you guys want us to review, please put it in the comments and we're going to try our best to review it. And of course I want to say thank you to all subscribers that keep coming back and watching our videos and supporting us. And of course if you're new to the channel, please of course hit the subscribe button and comment and share this video with anybody that you think might benefit from it. And if you really like what you see, hit the notification bell so you know when we upload new videos. We try to upload videos every Wednesday if we can, depending on the situation. But uh, so, you know what, let's get started with the review. So I actually have the tool opened already because I accidentally opened it ahead of time. But this is the tool here. Uh, you know what, I've seen this, this is a wire stripper actually. I've seen this wire stripper on eBay um, way before I started these series. And I never bought some of these tools because I figured, you know, what if, you know, it doesn't work $6 down the drain but now since we're doing these videos and whatnot and people are actually liking it so you know we're, now we're going to start buying some of these tools so we're going to see if this actually works supposedly this thing can strip five wires at once i don't know if you guys can see that so that's one of these holes for each wire um it has to be two or more you can't just strip one i guess but we'll try it you never know it might work uh it came with some other screws which i'm not sure exactly what they'd be used for i don't know if you can see here but you can see all the way through that. So I'm not sure how this would benefit in any way. And also this bolt or the hole in this whole situation here goes all the way through, which of course doesn't make any sense either because on this end, it would be a drill. So, you know, if this really works, it'd be, you know, a good benefit to be able to just strip the wires with the drill and you just hit the drill and it'll strip the wires. Cause you know, sometimes on automotive and whatnot, you're gonna do some wiring lights and whatnot. So. That's really one of the reasons why I wanted to buy this. And of course, if it works for $7, which the exact cost was $6.94 shipped to your door, free shipping, of course. We don't want to pay for any shipping, you know. We're, this is the whole purpose of this series is cheap tools and we review them. So, you know, as you guys know, the past couple videos, we've actually had some, you know, not good tools. First ones, we started off strong with good cheap tools and then I don't know what happened. China failed us, but you know, we'll see if this, if this uh, actually works. So I'm going to grab, grab some wire and I'm going to grab different kind of wire. Cause I know there's some that has all the little, you know, strands inside of it. And there's just the straight solid copper wire. So we're going to see if this can do both. I would assume it could do the solid copper a lot better than the, the single stranded ones. It might tear, you know, the single stranded ones, but we'll try it and, you know, see if it, you know, does what it's supposed to. So, you know, the purpose of this series is to review the cheapest tools that we can find. And of course, as long as they're useful, we'll buy them. So let me go outside, guys, grab some some uh, some wire and the drill. And let's see, uh, see how this thing puts up to itself. And so I got all the wires that we should, you know, be able to use for this situation. Um, you know what? I, I'm actually just going to go straight for it, guys, and go straight for the five wires and see if this is actually going to work. So, you know, I got the got the drill here. We're gonna put that on here just like you would a drill bit or whatever. Now be careful because this thing is actually pretty sharp. You feel this, it's, it's sharp. So unlike that last tool we've got, it was super dull. So from what I saw, you put the wire, of course, you know, they make it look easier than what it really is. So we're just gonna put them in there real quick. And then I saw that you actually need to hold the end with some pliers because it, you you won't be able to hold it you know if you're trying to spin all that at once so we're gonna I'm just gonna go for it guys just i'm gonna hang on to this pretty tight because i don't know what's gonna happen but here we go oh whoa it worked wait did it work i don't know if that worked i mean it, i got this whole mess here now but super warm because of all that friction it just created but I mean, it did work because here's here's pieces of wire, but it didn't strip this top piece. I, I think it was supposed to strip that because you can't make it fit all this stuff and it not work. I really wanted to unt untwist this and see if it if the center one got. Or you know what? I see what we have to do. Let me let me restart that for a second. All right, guys. So I realized that the center one is not stripped. So I assume that these bolts that they gave us is to tie in just the outside of this. So when you when you, you know when you start twisting it's going to spin just the 
the plastic part of it. So we're gonna reset here with these wires and see if it makes a, a difference. All right guys, so we got all five wires situated and we got this these things on there tight. So it should strip all of them now, which I really hope it does, but or you know what? Let me, let me hold it closer. Maybe that might help. So that we don't get all that whole situation that we had here in the first, first one. All right, here we go. Well, I mean, if you're, no, that did not work. Look at this. The first one worked better than that. You know what, maybe this was too tight. Let me try two wires. See if that helps or if that does anything. Well, you know what, the, it's in there, there it is. So yeah, it, it just ripped, it didn't even strip it. So let's try two wires. Come on, man. Don't disappoint me. Man, you know what, guys? Maybe this tool's not even that good. $6. Let me reset here. See if this helps. Let me tighten this just barely on there. Put this part in here. We'll go at it with two wires real quick. All right, two wires. We'll see if this helps. But see, the problem is that it's stripping the outside one perfectly, but the inside one is, you know, it's not gonna do anything for you. There's gotta be a way to strip this middle piece. Let me get a few. You know what? I don't know if this tool actually works. Supposedly, from my understanding, that this, this has nothing to do with the actual stripping area i guess well not you know supposedly you can use this by hand i mean i assume it'd be pretty hard but what i did do was tighten it to where it's barely you know squeezing onto the insulation part holding it here with my pliers and see if this helps so let's you know at the same time that i'm going to twist i'm going to pull at the same time to see if that if that makes a difference All it does is just make your wire look like that. This has no success. Even this, I mean, yeah, it stripped all the outside ones, but the inside one is, you know, completely insulated. So, so the, the middle wire would have no, you know, contact to the actual current that you're trying to provide through all these wires. Man, I'm tired of getting these, tool, these tools that don't work. It's all right though, I'll do it for you guys. Let me see, let me send it with three wires and see if that makes a difference here. All right, three wires this time. I'm gonna have to say guys, this tool is a waste of money. Already guys, and this is just from this, 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 I've, I've tried numerous times out of the camera, guys, to see if I can get it to work. This. And this is all I'm getting is just a twisted wire. I mean, if you want to pay six bucks for this drill to twist the wire, then I guess you can do that. But this was the only closest thing that we had to success. But either way, this wouldn't work in any real situation. You know, you're, you're trying to connect five wires together at one time. And that's not going to work. Uh, you know, I was really hoping China was gonna provide us something with something good this time, you know, but Looks like These are a waste of money guys. Don't waste your money on this wire stripping tool. I mean, it's it's heavy You know, you'd think if you were to hold this it'd be good quality I'm sure if I showed You know, like an electrician this he'd probably laugh at me and be like what the heck is that? 
So yeah, I'm gonna have to say guys, this is a, this tool is no go. Don't buy this guys for $7. Yeah, it looked cool. It looked, you know, of course you see pictures, you see videos and you think it'd work, but you know, they make the videos look good so that they can sell up the item. So I'm gonna have to say guys, don't buy this tool. This, I mean, even if you did it by hand, you need to have some good strength to get these wire that twisted. Look at that. You know, how are you gonna get that, get it that twisted? That's super tight. So, I, you know, from, from right here where we're, at, where we're at, we're just gonna straight up go to, you know, the final thoughts on this tool. I'm gonna have to say guys, this tool, complete waste of money for $7. It's, it's no good. This is the exact same situation we had with that other deburring tool. So if you guys wanna go check that video out, it's uh it's on my channel of course check that video out guys and it's this tool sucks guys i'm super disappointed because i've actually wanted this tool for a while unlike some of the other tools i buy just to do reviews but this is a tool that i actually wanted you know and i actually wanted to use you know whenever i needed to do some type of you know wire stripping or whatever i need to do so i'm gonna have to say guys this tool not worth it for seven dollars so that's where, that's where we're gonna end up here. And one of these days, guys, I'm gonna bring all the tools I've reviewed and put them all here to let you guys know which ones I do use, which ones I don't use anymore. And of course, guys, if you guys like what you see, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Share this video with your friends. If you see any of your friends tell you they want this, tell them don't get it and show them this video. And of course, guys, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know when we upload new videos. We try to upload every Wednesday. So of course, guys, stay safe. With all this stuff going around, guys, we're all going to get through it. We'll all go back to our normal life uh, eventually, guys. But thank you so much for viewing. Let me know what you guys think in the comments.